everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So much has changed. Things have been so crazy lately and I feel like maybe now they're finally starting to calm down just a little bit. Man, August was just like, my boyfriend broke his jaw and it took him like two months almost to recover from that. So that was basically August and September. Um, October we decided spontaneously to move and so October was basically spent all packing and moving and then now we just moved into this new place which is really crazy and there's so much room. We've only been here a couple of weeks so we haven't really unpacked hardly at all just kind of the basic necessities and this is my new office. There's like nothing in it but I did not want that to stop me from keeping up with my monthly favorites and I promise moving forward I'm gonna try to film more videos than just this like one a month. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited because I, like I said, I feel like things are finally starting to calm down. Life is slowly returning to normal but it's like a new normal so it's kind of like a new state of relaxation and I like it. I'm excited. So I feel kind of like this month I probably have mostly makeup items. Um, there's a little bit of some random stuff in here, but uh, last month I mentioned that I was having like a makeup renaissance and that's definitely true. I've got some great stuff to show you. So without further ado, let's get this video started and I will be showing you my October favorites. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start with a brow product first. I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's just a little sample size and it was actually something I was kind of skeptical about because I was like, you don't have to pay a lot of money for products like that. You can just get cheap ones and they're fine and I've been using cheap ones. Um, but actually I think I redeemed my Ipsy points and I got this, but anyways, it's a Benefit. It's their Gimme Brow. It is a, um, it's like a little brow mascara and it's in the shade light or the lightest shade whatever it's called shade one um i really 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 like this of course so now i'm gonna have to buy it every time i run out uh but it's um it's really really natural and that's what i like best about it other brow products that i've tried like brow mascaras i had to like go in with an extremely steady scary hand because like one wrong move and i'd have just like this black smudge on my brow. Maybe I was using the wrong color, but it seemed right and it was just kind of extreme. So then I used a clear one, but the clear one sometimes just wasn't enough. I have really, really light eyebrows and even though it would kind of move the hairs where I like them to be, my brows would still look a little sparse. This is the perfect combination of the two where it gives color and it helps, like, helps your brows uh, look a little bit fuller but not without looking insane. Like I feel like what I've got going on today is a pretty natural look, matches my hair, it isn't overwhelming and it isn't overly like on fleek, which this whole brow thing has just been really confusing me because I managed to live like three decades without paying much attention to my brows. I like, I could not tell you what I was doing with my eyebrows in high school, college. Like I think I plucked them a little, once in a while I would get them um, uh, threaded. Uh, and that was it, like I don't really remember and now it's just like the brows are what gets my full attention every day and it's just kind of weird and it, it's also the only thing that I will do if I do makeup. Never before would I have done that. I would have done like mascara, bronzer, I don't know. But now if I have to do one thing I'm like well let, let me at least do my brows and then we can go to Starbucks. So weird. But anyways, this product has really helped with that because like one kind of quick coat, maybe a few little pencil lines and I'm like yeah okay I'm good to go and I actually do feel really confident with like a totally no makeup face and just a little bit of this brow action. So I recommend this. I think my mom uses this too. Um, it's a really nice little product and I will definitely buy a full size so yay my wallet. Okay, next up is, I'm just gonna go with like the weirdest one, but I just like totally adore this product, so I was like, I have to, I have to add this on. Oh, I don't even know the name of it. I have to find the name of my phone. Oh, wow. These are, this is the Riviera, so I just kind of have it on, yes, hair ties, um, hair elastics, whatever you want to call them. I have it on one of those like big keychain things because I find that's easy to hold them together. But um, these are the Riviera Stretch Pony Set. They are from Ulta. They were $8, but I think I got them on sale for half off, maybe. 
Um, as you can see, they're all very neutral colors, which I really like. You've got some like warm chocolatey browns, but you've also got some cool taupes and grays, and then of course, black and white. And that basically has me covered. Uh, and so that's been really cool. Like no matter what I'm wearing every day, I can just pull this out and be like, mmm, warmish taupe, I'm going with that today. Or like, chocolate, I'm wearing that one. And it's been really easy, and I just feel cool. Like my hair ties just work really well with my outfit, which is funny, but it's true, because sometimes, I don't know, I've always, I see, I, okay, hmm. I have to put my hair up every time I go to work, and I don't necessarily do it at home, sometimes I throw it up when I get there, usually I do that, and so I'm always having hair tie on my wrist on the way to work, so they can't be like too tight on my wrist, but they can't be too loose, these are perfect, they're really, really, really stretchy, but they pretty much go back to their shape, um, I, you know, it'll be interesting to see how long they last, but again, they weren't expensive, but these are just like, oh, my phone is ringing. No, it's not. Weird. Um, uh, it will be interesting to see how long these last, you know, I don't really, I don't know. They seem to be really great because they hold their shape. They snap back really well, but man, these hold up my ponytail. These are by far the best hair ties I've ever used. They don't move, but they also have a little give. It's so weird. It's enough to make me want to talk about them in my favorites video. But yeah, just like my ponytail goes up perfectly on the first time. I can kind of move it around. And then like once it's there, it's there. I could sleep in these. They're not damaging to my hair at all. I just like really love these hair ties. So I thought, you know what? Yeah, those are going in my favorites video. So like I said, you can get them at Ulta. I think those are the only colors that they have, but I love them. So. Hair ties, ponytails. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's keep going with the hair stuff. Um, this product is empty because I used it all because I loved it. I got it also at Ulta. It's a brand I've never used before. It's an expensive brand, so that's why I got the mini one. Um, Unwash, I guess is the name of the brand. Uh, the New Clean, and this is their dry cleaner. It refreshes hair. Um, it doesn't really say much about it. Uh, I just wanted to, I wanted something, because I use a lot of dry shampoos, but sometimes I feel like they're just kind of gross. Like you spray them on your hair and it doesn't feel clean. It just feels like dry. And having long hair, you know, like that just doesn't work because then it feels like I have a big bale of hay on my head and it's just gross. So I wanted to try, I thought like maybe if I go for a fancier, like more expensive one, it will feel a little bit more luxurious on my hair. And I was kind of right. I knew I was right. Like damn expensive products. I don't know if I would purchase this again. Like I guess I probably would. There's lots of uh, dry shampoos out there to try and I can't wait to keep on a sampling. But this one was really good and I was really like, oh man, this is going so fast and I really love it. So maybe I will repurchase it again at some time, but yeah, I definitely loved this, used it all month. Uh, the artwork on the can is just like so pretty, probably 50% of why I bought it. Um, I could also tell at the store it has this really nice fresh cucumber smell, which just seemed to kind of go along with an autumn theme, even though cucumber is kind of summery, but like, you know, harvest vegetables, cucumbers, it just seemed right. So yeah, I totally love this. It worked really well. Um, it didn't like overly dry out my hair. It actually kind of made it feel a little bit like supple and like baby soft. So might have to, yeah, repurchase another one. But I want to say this little one was like $10, like ridiculous. Man, I can't believe it. But anyways, it's really good. So I guess it's worth it. Um, speaking of little tiny samples of expensive products, this is another one that is empty that I totally loved. Totally loved. Like I'm definitely going to buy a full size one of this. Um, especially now in our new place, we have two bathrooms, so I have my very own bathroom now, which means I can have cute products and like body washes all to myself without having to share with my boyfriend. Um, so that's just kind of exciting. So I was like, yes, this will be the perfect girly spa like body wash in my new bathroom and I'm so excited. Okay, so anyways, this one I just like used really quick because I loved it. It's by Rituals brand, never heard of it. I think my mom gave this to me out of her uh, her birch box. Uh, Rituals, it's called the Happy Buddha Body Wash and it's sweet orange and cedar. Oh my gosh, just like the perfect cold weather smell. Um, you know, as it's like chilly outside, it's got this, I love citrus and spice. That's like probably my top favorite smell unless you want to go with like a vanilla spice or like a woodsy kind of smell but like I love some orange clove or some like 
ginger tangerine or like grapefruit basil you know just like things that are kind of spicy herbal citrus are just the best so uh yeah this is so nice it gets like really foamy and creamy and just a little goes a long way it felt very luxurious and very spa like and smelled so good i just felt really fancy using this that i've like looked this up on amazon a few times so i just need to buy it it's like 15 dollars for a full size it's not the end of the world especially when i consider i'm just using it for me i don't have to share it a little will go a long way uh, but yeah, this is so good. It smells so good. It's just so earthy and zen and beautiful. So I mm, definitely will be using more of this. Okay, um, four left. All of the last four are going to be makeup, like I said. So I will start with the makeup brush. So this is like a little bit dirty, but that's because I use it every single day. So this is what it looks like. It's very fluffy. It is um, by It Cosmetics, if you can see, is my, there we go, it's by It Cosmetics. Um, it is their number, number 105, Airbrush Blending Crease Brush. So I never realized the importance of a crease brush until I got a crease brush, and then I was like, yep, that's important. So basically what this is used for is like no matter what eyeshadow look you are going for, even if you're just going for like a no eyeshadow look, just like one neutral color, you always start with the crease brush. So whatever color you have, you take a, it's like a, you start with a very neutral color. You can go with like a light kind of peach or like a brownish bronze shade or a golden taupe, like just something very similar to your skin color. Because what the point of a crease brush is, is to blend the shadow that's on your eye, you know, close to your lash line here, like that's a little bit darker. And then up here is gonna be like light skin tone color. So what's in the crease is going to be blending the two of those things together so you don't have this like really harsh eyeshadow line. That is for all you people out there who may be more like beginners at makeup. So you use this crease brush to get your very neutral, like close to skin tone shade and just like get a base going in your crease so that when you put a darker or brighter color or shiny color or whatever over it, it blends from your eyelid up to your crease without looking like, whoa, you've got a crap ton of makeup on and you don't know what you're doing. So this has been really cool. It's taken a little bit of practice to get to use it like quickly and flawlessly every day. And also, you know what, something that everybody has to learn, I think, is your own eye shape and working with your own eye shape which i don't want to like label what your eye shape is like your almond your round you know i guess you can do that but it is what it is and so i didn't i haven't really tried to like label what mine is if you can look at me and you're like oh yeah girl you've got blah eyes feel free to tell me but i don't know i just live with them so just like learning where i may need a little bit more shadow and where i may need a little less shadow um, just like kind of learning what looks best and like the most natural has been very interesting and this brush has kind of helped me along that journey. So I have basically like three different crease colors that I use every day, like a little bit lighter one, a little bit warmer one, a little bit cooler one. Whatever it is, I use this brush throughout the whole like blending process, even at the end to kind of blend everything else together. It's like being an artist. It's like using a paintbrush. So um, this is a really fun and cool one. I have seen that Wet n Wild has one that looks exactly like it, and it's only 99 cents, but you can only get it on the website, so I need to just order five of them. But I've heard that it's like even better than this one. This one is by It Cosmetics. I got it at Ulta. I believe it was like $14, so like not the end of the world. Definitely worth the money because it's gonna last a really long time. Um, so yeah, crease brush. Um, my next item is something that I like, would normally never use. I, I actually swore it off. I was like, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with black eyeliner that's like liquidy. I'm done. It just doesn't look good on me. I like very natural kind of smudgy eyeliners. Maybe even all the way down to black, but like very, very natural. Not like liquid, you know, what I'm talking about. That whole cat eye thing, just not good for me. So I got my, actually unsubscribed, canceled my Ipsy. I'm just gonna kind of go forward and like pick out things that I wanna pick out. It was cool having somebody else pick it out for me, but I just like want the power of my $10 back. That being said, in my final Ipsy bag, I received this and I was like, oh geez, are you serious? I don't like these. But the brand is something I've never heard of before. Chiate, 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 I don't know. Uh, it's called Fierce Flicks. It doesn't say the color, but it's like very obviously black. 
Uh, yeah, so this is a little felt tip black eyeliner. And like I said, immediately I was like, there's no way. I hate these. They look terrible on me. I'm going to give this to a friend. However, <laughs> I just had to try it, right? Like I had to just get up in there and see if it looked okay. And it's like really, really good. It's really, really thin and it's very easy to manage. It does actually feel like I'm using like a brush tip uh, marker or pen or something on my eye. Very easy to control and with such that like teeniest, teeniest little tip here as you can see I have to like put it in front of something light like my forehead. With that tiny little tip you can like really get into the lash line and like really make your top eyelid like bam dark. Looked really good with uh, mascara. I did really enjoy using this and wore it several times throughout the month. I was like, yeah, I'm totally keeping this. Like, I found a little one. So I think it may be, like, this actual one that's really good. Because most other ones I absolutely hate. Never would ever purchase one again. Um, but this has, like, shown me the light. And maybe these are worthwhile. I didn't wear it today. I actually forgot I was going to do this in my favorites. Otherwise, I probably would have put it on. But, uh, you know, it is, like, a, you, you decide when you put it on. You're like, okay, we're going for it. And it, like, <laughs> but... It is very easy to use. I haven't had any like terrible mess ups with it. Um, I think it's really, really cool and I will keep it around for sure. And I think I'll like this a lot come winter when just like a nice really berry cheek with like a bright, bright like berry red lip with just a very simple like vanilla eyeshadow with like a nice thick black line along the lashes. Just a classic winter look and I can't wait to rock it. So yeah, I'm so excited that I got this, used it a lot, and will continue to. Alrighty, this is another one I got in my Ipsy bag that was instantly just like, come to me child. Uh, it is by Be uh, Beauty, 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 Beauty Basics, I don't know. Ooh, they didn't include the color on here, but I remember that the color is Satin Taupe. Uh, this is just like the everybody's like perfect shade just like your everyday shimmery brownish kind of it's cool it's a cool brown as you can see it's got even like some silveriness to it it's like a taupey chocolate we're gonna call it that it's what I'm wearing today um you know it's very neutral it's something that I can wear every day to work and it's not too much but it is kind of a nice like gentle smoky eye this is just like the go-to color. You can use it for just a little bit on the outside corner, or you can go all over lid, kind of like I did today. You can even use this as like your main color and then smoke it out with some dark, dark charcoal or black on the outside. It's just really versatile. You get so much. I was just like, what a nice Ipsy inclusion in my bag. So this was one that I was instantly just like, yes, total favorite. I'm definitely going to keep this around. Like, if I start going through, I do have to go through my makeup and get rid of some stuff. This is going to be like, no, keep this in the front. I'm always going to use this until until it's gone. And I just feel like, what a long, beautiful life we'll have together. So that is that satin tote. Okay, I seriously have like, like a grand finale. So here we go. For my eighth item, I have not one, but seven items included in that eighth item because I bought seven of them. I love them so much. Okay, so I will always remember October 2016 as the month I discovered NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream has become my favorite lip product of all time. The formula is just right for me. It's perfect. They are like little velvety kind of moisturizing little lip tints. They're very easy to work with and they're also easy to reapply if needed. They, if you do it right and like take your time putting it on and use a like base liner, primer, whatever, they will last forever. If you wanna just kind of be quick and throw them on top of some lip balm or whatever, they'll also last pretty long. No matter what, they're just super easy to work with and I love them. So I have seven of them. I'm going to, uh, I don't even know how I'm going to show them all to you here. So like these are all, <laughs> ah, these are all the ones that I have. There are all of these kind of like neutral pinkish kind of colors. Um, all of them are so pretty and I love all of them and use all of them. Um, I can't really even, I guess some of them stick out to me because I've used them like more than the others, but 
I've used all of them and it was so funny. Like I just kept going back to the store and being like, can I get a couple more? And I'm gonna swap these for these. And then these are like, oh, these are like the seven that I've decided on, but maybe I'll get a few more. I don't have any really like super dark ones. And that would be kind of fun to get like a really vampy one or even like the perfect winter shade I was just referring to. Oh my God, that's the best idea. Um, they have like maybe two more neutral shades that I didn't pick up, so like I should just complete the collection. It's not like they're that expensive, they're like six dollars or something. Okay, but I want to swatch them all for you, so like let's do this. So I think what I like most about these as I'm swatching them is that they're just, they're really, really sheer. Um, the colors are beautiful. They're like watercolor kind of like pastel pinks and peaches. Um, they're just like really, really sheer and workable. And that's what I like so much about them. I actually have two mixed together on today, so you'll kind of see different colors through them because, like I said, they're really sheer. So if you don't really like that, if you want like an extremely opaque lip color, you may not really like these, but I don't like that. I like natural looking lip products, and this is just like, what's up? So these are swatches of all the shades that I picked out. Um, as you can see, they're all pretty neutral. Um, and like, you know, kind of fun to mix and match together because they're all kind of similar, so you can really create like a custom shade. But starting all the way over here, we have Cairo, Buenos Aires, Tokyo, Athens, Stockholm, Abu Dhabi, and Zurich. Love them all. Obsessed. Which one am I wearing today? I can't remember, but I think I have Athens and Abu Dhabi like mixed together. It's just so pretty and like just looks really, really natural and also feels really natural. They're so pretty. It's been so fun like playing with the shade ranges. They have tons of these and if you don't see them at Ulta or even like the drugstores have them, I think at least they do in Chicago, um, you can get them uh, online. So I'm so excited. I'm like loving these swatches, like little swatch dance. Swatch dance. Alrighty, so anyways. Thank you so much for joining me in my empty apartment. Uh, very soon I will be decorating and making it cute so that when I sit down to record a video, you'll be like, oh my God, look how cute that is. But right now, there's nothing. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love watching videos like these, so I just like to make my own. I think it's super fun. Um, if you liked it, then definitely give me some love on my channel. You can come thumbs up this video or subscribe for some more. Um, I'll be making my fall capsule wardrobe video extremely soon, so keep an eye out for that. And as always, have a great day. Get out there and enjoy yourself. Bye!